Check one, two. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the homecoming loose electric guitar tutorial. I'm going to be jumping around a little bit. Um, I went ahead and listened to the song, obviously. And I grabbed a couple timestamps from the song that are important. And I'm actually going to break those different sections down for you in this video. And um, another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing through the Helix patch that I created specifically for this song. There's a couple different snapshots. It's for the Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, and Podgo. So if you like any of these sounds that's in this video, feel free to click in the description below and pick that up for yourself. I have a feeling that I'm going to be playing this song in church when my worship leader goes ahead and picks the, the set list going forward. It's just such a cool song. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm going to go over that intro, and I'm using the neck pickup for this, and this is going to be on my snapshot one, and it sounds like this. So I watched back on the music video, and it looks like this is how he is doing it. So it's going to be a hammer-on with your middle finger from the 9th fret G string to the 10th fret. And then you're going to pluck on the B string with your finger. And I'm actually using my fingers on this instead of a pick, just so it's a little warmer and not so much. Um, it, it kind of feels like the actual pluck is buried a little bit in the mix um, versus... It's kind of like a little bit warmer, especially during that intro part. And then it's going to be a slide. So you're going to go, uh, before that, it's going to be 9, 10, B string on the 8th fret. And that's going to be a pull off from the G string, 10th uh, fret to the 9th fret. And then it's going to be a slide with your middle finger down to the 5th fret G string, and then a pluck on your open E string. And that's right at the beginning of the song, that's at timestamp 0. And then the next lick that I wanted to go over is actually in verse 2, and it's the octave lick. And it sounds like this. And then it continues with the progression, but that's a pretty cool part. Um, so I'm on my snapshot two, and uh, it changes up the octaves a little bit. So I've got a higher octave and a lower octave. So it's going to be your open A string. We're in the key of C, by the way. So that would be your six. And then middle finger on the D string, second fret. So it's going to be 2nd fret, D string, open, 2nd fret again, and then ring finger on the 3rd fret, A string, and that's just um, kind of a mini arpeggio of the C chord. And then you're going to finish that off with your A string. And then after that point, you're continuing with the verse progression. That's something that's pretty easy. You could look up online um, to find the, the chord charts for the song. And um, so then the really cool part is during the chorus, when it's full band, really big, it's actually incorporating the slide. And so I'm going to be going over some slide technique if you're unfamiliar and you're just kind of starting out. Um, so uh, what David's doing is he's actually using his slide over. And if you're watching on the music video, the live recording, um, you can kind of see that he's over there with his slide. He uses it um, on his middle finger. Um, uh, it really doesn't matter uh, what fingers you use it on. I feel like I have a little bit more control when I use it on my ring finger for some reason. And then what he's doing is he, he basically keeps the slide on there. And then when he drops out for after the big chorus, he can come back and like actually still fret some some chords and play some clean stuff but i'm going to play you that chorus part cuz 
play it again. And then you're out of the chorus. So one thing that you want to keep in mind if you're unfamiliar with playing slide is you want to play right on top of the metal part of the fret. Um, when I first started playing, I wanted to play the, the note in between like you would normally if you would fret it with your finger. But it's actually flat when you do that. So you want to get right on top of that. So whenever you play the note, you're going to play the sharp side of the metal part of the fret. And then it's going to take a little bit of practice um, getting on pitch with that, just because there are no frets anymore that you have a reference to. It's really just all free and flowy, which gives it that really cool sound. So it's, it's really all just muscle memory and hand-eye coordination to really get that pitch. And the cool thing is you can like really uh, ramp it up slowly. You could go fast. Just make sure your start and your end points are good. Otherwise, it's going to sound really bad, especially with a bunch of delay and a bunch of reverb on it. So I'm just going to play that part with the notes before I uh, break it down with the slide. So the notes are basically going to be your, your G string fifth fret and then it's going to be your seventh fret g-string and then your ninth fret g-string and then it's going to be your seventh fret on the d-string those are going to be your first few notes and then it's going to be Pretty much the same, only your end point is on the seventh fret G string. So then you're gonna go all the way up to your tenth fret B string. And then from your tenth fret B string down to the eighth fret B string. And then back to your ninth fret G string. And then you're going to obviously slide up to the 12th fret, and you're going to want to get your uh, G string and B string in there. So it goes. So you're going to be barring that with your slide. So I'm going to play it again. Oops. And really the, the vibrato in there is, is all feel, basically. So you're just going to have to play around to, to figure out what is most comfortable for you. And then the last thing I want to go over about slide guitar, uh, you might have noticed that I wasn't using my pick. Um, I find that I have a little bit more control over the notes because uh, what's, what happens when you're playing slide is like... If you let more than one string ring out, if it is not right on the fret like this note see that sounds good but it's hard this is the most difficult part of it when you go because you don't want this note to go sharp so what you do is you can use your fingers instead of your pick to kind of mute the strings around it that you don't want to ring out so like that specific point right there you're gonna want to like get on top of that note and get it muted before you transition to this note. So it goes. Because you don't want. So that's kind of the reason why you do it. Another, uh, you can still pick your notes. It's just going to sound a little bit more shrill than if you were to take your warm side of your finger and actually pluck the notes so like if I played it with a pick it would sound like this versus 
verses. So the timestamp where that first lead line comes in, you're probably going to hear it when it hits that big chorus. Is that the first one's at two minutes, and then there's another cool part at 4:21. It's technically in the bridge section uh, where they're doing a, a whole bunch of O's, and that melody kind of sounds like this. So I wasn't necessarily hearing um, it being done with the slide in the live version, but you can either play it that way, like, or you can try doing it with a slide and it's going to take a little bit of practice. Uh, there's a couple ways you can play it. You can either go, you can slide way down to the note. And then, I think that's more fun if you can nail it. Or you can play. So I'm going to break those notes down for you. So your first note is going to be on the 10th fret G string down to your 9th fret G string, to your 5th fret G string, and then you're going to bar your, that would be your 17th fret, which is your, your C triad, if you bar it. Or you could play it this way. Still on the 10th fret G string. But your C note is actually on the 10th fret D string. Then still finishing it off on the 17th fret. Um, yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of practice to get the, the pitch right because the notes are pretty quick. Uh, but I think it's going to be more fun in the end to play it that way. So I think that's basically it other than like there's some clean stuff that happens, but nothing too crazy outside of just your, your normal chords that you would learn out of a book or out of the internet, uh, on the internet. But, um, yeah, feel free to, if you like this video, click the uh, like button down below. And if you, um, are just coming in and, um, I'm, I'm playing through my line six helix patch that I created um, with snapshots and everything to help get you through every part of the, the song. Um, like I was doing that slide part, there's a little bit more compression that I have on there just to make the notes ring out a little bit more, especially because I'm using um, a single coil, but you might want to pull some of that back if you're using a humbucker, you've got a little bit more output. So if you like the patch, feel free to click down below. It's for the HX Stomp, HX Effects, Pod Go, and HX Stomp, Helix, did I say it? Four of them down there. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked it.